The components required for this experiment are ESP32 board, relay, DC water pump, breadboard, battery, connecting wires and connecting cable. Now log in to the Arduino IoT Cloud website. Here enter the username and password and click on the sign in button. Now go to Things menu and here click this thing button. Now we need to create a new thing. So first let's rename this thing. Here enter the thing name as Control Water Pump with ESP32 and click on the rename button. Now we need to add a variable. Click on this add button and enter the variable name as pump and select the variable type as boolean. So here we now need to change the settings. Now click on the add variable button. Now select device and here select setup new device. Here we need to select third party device. So we are using ESP32 board. So select the ESP32 and select the model as ESP32 DAO module. Now click on the continue button. Here we can enter any device name. Now click on the next button. So here we need to copy this secret key. Now select this checkbox and click on continue and then click done. Now configure the network. So click on this button. Here enter the Wi-Fi username and Wi-Fi password. And here we need to paste the secret key which we copied. And click save button. Now go back to this menu and go to dashboards. Here we need to create a new dashboard. So click on this dashboard button. Here we can give a name for the dashboard. Rename button and enter the name. Control water pump with ESP32. And click on the rename button. Now we need to add a button widget. So add this switch widget. So we can give the name as switch. Now we need to link the variable. Click on this link variable. And the way this is the pump variable which we created. So select this one and click link variable button. Now click done button. Now you again go back to the menu and go to things. Here we need to select our thing which we created. Now go to sketch and click on full editor. Now the basic template is created and we need to add our logic.
Now we need to compile the program. Click on this icon. Now the program is compiled successfully. Now we can upload the program. So for that, select this device button and we need to install this Arduino Cloud Agent. Now click on this download button. Here click start and download the Arduino Cloud Agent EXE. Now the file is downloaded and now we can install this cloud agent. Click on this yes button. Click next. Now the installation is completed. Here click on the next button. Now go to web editor. And again select the device. So now the port is selected automatically. Now click on this one and we need to select the board. So we are using ESP32 and the model is ESP32 dev module. So select the model and now click this arrow button and upload the program to the ESP32 board. Now the program is successfully uploaded to the ESP32 board. Now we can set up the mobile dashboard. For that, download the IoT remote application from the Play Store. Now once you open the application, we can see the dashboard which we created from the Arduino IoT cloud website. Now click on the dashboard, control water pump. Now here we can see the button widget. Now the setup is completed and now we can check the output.